Hey, Cricket Enthusiast, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some exciting news for you, especially if you're a fan of New Zealand cricket. The Kiwis have just announced their squad for the upcoming five-match T20 by series against Pakistan, and it's looking like a powerhouse lineup with some familiar faces making a return. Stick around as we dive into the details of who's back on the field and who's taking a breather. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest cricket updates. First up, let's talk about the fantastic comebacks of Matt Henry and Lockie Ferguson. Both players have successfully recovered from their respective injuries and fans can expect to see them in action. Henry, who suffered a right hamstring injury during the World Cup clash against South Africa, is set to make a return for Canterbury in a Super Smash T20 fixture. Ferguson, dealing with an Achilles injury from the World Cup, will join the squad for the last three T20 is after featuring in some Super Smash games for Auckland. Exciting times ahead for the Kiwi pace attack. In another boost for New Zealand, Captain Kane Williamson and explosive batsman Devin Conway are back in the mix after some well-deserved rest. Williamson, who sat out the Bangladesh Odis and T20Is, will reclaim the captaincy reins for four out of the five T20Is against Pakistan. However, he'll be sitting out the third T20I to manage his knee injury. Devin Conway, who also took a break, is ready to showcase his skills once again. The Kiwi batting lineup just got a whole lot stronger. Now, let's address the absence of all-rounder Rachin Ravindra who has been given a well-earned break after being on the road since August last year. Coach Gary Stead emphasized the importance of looking after Ravindra's well-being, considering his non-stop touring across five countries. The squad otherwise is looking robust, with some new faces called up to cover key positions. Stay tuned to find out who's stepping up to the plate. Gary Stead, the New Zealand head coach, shared his excitement about welcoming back the key players and highlighted the significance of these T20 is in the lead up to the T20 World Cup. He explained the decision behind resting Ravindra, acknowledging the young player's value to New Zealand cricket. The coach reassured fans that Ravindra remains an integral part of their plans for the T20 World Cup in June and will be back in action for the T20 series against Australia in February. There you have it, folks. New Zealand is gearing up for an action-packed T20i series against Pakistan, and we can't wait to witness the cricketing extravaganza unfold. If you enjoyed this update and want to stay in the loop with all things cricket, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're excited about the return of these cricketing stars. Until next time, this is your channel name, signing off. Cheers.